Hi and thanks for watching my video which is uh, me again with the real Auric um, doing a quick test uh, of a simple program in BASIC and then seeing how a similar program in machine code performs compared to it. So all this program does is writes to the first 256 locations of the Oryx screen memory which starts at 48,000. It writes the value 65 which is capital A and then it writes the value 32 which is the space. Um, so that's uh, 512 pokes and then the program stops. So if I run it so you can pretty much guess what it's going to do. Uh, it starts right at the top left where the status line actually is. You can't normally get access it, but if I run it again, we can see the A's being poked and then the A's being replaced by spaces. It does it quite quickly, uh, but clearly you it's it's not so quick you can't see what it's doing. Um, and now I've all I've also typed in a program which does the same thing but in machine code. Uh, I'm not going to go into the machine code in detail. Um, but just to explain very quickly, the first few lines, all, all that they do is, uh, this is just a basic program obviously, but the first few lines, uh, they're just there to read in the machine code program. And uh, line 2000, as you, can, as you can see, starts that the address at 400 hex, which is where there's a bit of space in the Oryx memory map to write small machine code programs. Line 2060 to 2150 are data statements, which are basically the machine code uh, bytes to poke into this location 400 onwards. Um, and uh, I'm not gonna explain it in detail, but basically we have two loops. Uh, the first loop writes uh, 65 to the same screen locations as the basic was doing. And the second writes 32. So it's very, very similar to the basic program we just saw. So if I run this program, all it's doing is reading the data and poking it into my uh, space at 400 onwards. So now uh, if I call from 400, I have a machine code program in there now. Uh, so I will call from 400 and let's uh, see what happens. Uh, maybe you saw something flash up on the screen on the video. I don't know how to review it afterwards. I'll do it again. Uh, I literally saw nothing then. Uh, let's try one more time. And I saw something flash up. Hopefully we got that on video. Um, so what is going on? It's well, it's basically that the machine code is being executed so quickly that uh, even the monitor cannot show the progress of the updates from A's to spaces. You can't literally can't see what's going on. So that's why you just get a flash. Sometimes you just a flash of A's before they get replaced by spaces. Now, I've already done some uh, performance of some cycle counting of this program. Uh, each of these instructions takes no number of cycles. Uh, and I believe that the, uh, I probably might be wrong, but I won't be miles off. But basically, I believe that the program runs in 4,874 4, cycles. Now, each cycle is one microsecond, so that's 4,000. 874 microseconds, which means it's actually 0 0.004874 of a second. And uh, how quickly is that? Well, that is, if I do one divided by 0 0.004874, well, I would have to type print before it would do that. 0 0.004874, 200 times a second, more than 200 times a second, this program could execute uh, 200 times in one second. Now that means the screen, which only runs at 50 hertz, it's a, a PAL screen, um, it's literally four times uh, slower than the PAL screen. Um, and that's why we just don't see much happening. You just sort of, you get the odd flash. So uh, I hope that uh, gave you uh, a taste of just how much quicker machine code is, uh, which was essential in those days to learn a little bit of machine code because you, you really couldn't get too far with just basic, uh, especially if you wanted to do anything that, with fast moving graphics. Um, these days, of course, it's all very different. Uh, not much machine code gets written by people on modern machines unless you're doing 
low level stuff like device drivers, uh, maybe uh, game engines. Uh, but basically, uh, back in the day, in the 80s, it was essential to be able to write in machine code. Uh, I hope you found that interesting uh, and thank you for watching this video.